everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's World. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 44th episode, my friends. We are starting to approach the big 5-0 mark, aren't we? The big 50 mark. That'll be coming very, very soon. But uh, guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, uh, well, can you figure it out? Can you figure out what we're going to be doing? I mean, if you can't figure it out just by the very, very first slot here, then uh, I don't know what's going on, man. Because, yeah, sugar canes, sugar cane farms, automatic sugar cane farms. That's right, my friends. We're making ourselves another farm, which means, again, we are working in the industrial district. The reason why we're making a sugar cane farm is just because it's just universally useful, isn't it? If not for paper, then for sugar or, you know, whatever else we may wind up needing. So, yeah, everything's looking good. But, guys, as you can see, I've got 39 levels. We did, sadly, destroy our bow in the last episode rather foolishly. So today, my friends, we're going to start off by going ahead and uh, enchanting ourselves a new bow. And if we don't get something good, I mean, we've got 39 levels. We can enchant several times over, right? So uh, there's power four straight off the rip. That's, yeah, I would prefer something. I mean, that's going to give us power five. That's pretty nice. We have two more chances to get something good before, you know, combining some stuffs. So let's just head over here. Uh, power four once again. I'm breaking again, and I'm breaking three. Wow! Pretty much all of these are the exact same as each other. Well, um, I guess at the very least we can make ourselves two power five unbreaking three bows, right? I mean, you know, that's kind of cool. I ain't going to complain about that. Well, okay, I'm going to go put these uh, in here, and then I'm going to go and put the, uh, put the lapis in there. So there we go, my friends. Nice and simple. Got ourselves a new bow. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have infinity on it, so we're actually going to have to utilize the arrows that we have going on in our world, which, by the way, we've got quite a lot because, you know, by using an infinity bow, uh, we're, we're going to do nothing but gain arrows, aren't we? So that's pretty cool. But guys, since the last episode, I've actually marked out where exactly I want the sugarcane farm to go. It's gonna actually only involve 10 little sections and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome guys. It is actually gonna be freaking awesome. So let's get over here and as you can see guys, I've actually marked it out. I've marked it out. I've lit it up and uh, basically we're gonna go ahead and get straight to work on this thing. So I think probably the first thing I want to get done is the collection system, right? So if we go ahead and, uh, you know, bump all of those along a block or two and then what I want to do basically is have myself a collection area uh, which is going to be down here so the actual minecart track itself is going to be going along this section here so for those of you guys unaware minecarts with hoppers can pull blocks and items through solid blocks that is right solid blocks they don't have to be path blocks or soul sand or you don't have to have carpets or anything like that you can you can just flat out get them and uh, you know get, get them to pick up stuff through blocks which is really really awesome but anyways what i want to do is quickly start off with a redstone block down there and then we need to do the same over here so the so of course the minecart is just you know perpetually going at all times that's what we want to have happen here so let's get you placed in there and i've come to the realization as well that uh, we need to go ahead and block that off right so let's have a bit of that let's have a bit of that and then very very simply all we need to do is place in a bunch of stuffs like this and then we will of course put ourselves a chest down here as well just so we've got the actual collection thing going uh um, i mean i want an actual double chest that'd be kind of nice boop there we go. All right, cool. Uh, oh, I just realized I actually need a couple of actual hoppers as well. So, uh, huh. all right, well, uh, we can get that thing done really, really easily, I guess, considering we've got an iron farm. You know, iron farms are cool, aren't they? I'm very glad we built this thing. Uh, I, like, I genuinely am. Like, this is the first ever time I've actually made an iron farm myself. So, yeah, I'm actually really quite proud of it. Oh, and there's, and there's a golem getting killed in there. <laughs> All right, well, that's great and all. Okay, so let's head in here real quick. I just want to make myself another hopper real quick. Oh, there's a bunch of dudes in there as well. I'll tell you something, my friends. As we go along, I'm actually really, really enjoying this industrial project. The fact that we've got so many different farms that we can utilize to get resources is actually kind of awesome. Like, there's so many other kinds of farms I want to make as well. You know, automatic concrete makers, a cobblestone and smooth stone generator. There's so many things that you can do. Uh, to industrialize your world. It's actually kind of bonkers. It genuinely is. Right, anyways, what I want to do real quick is... Can I do that? Okay. And then... In fact, 
Uh, if I go ahead and place this one over here. Anyway, the, the intention is I don't want to go ahead and break these blocks because there's water up there, right? So, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you guys, I could just go ahead and place that in like that, right? And then just have the double chest in just, you know, as per the default, right? Okay, cool. So, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and uh, start filling this back in. Rather like that. Okay. And then, of course, we need to make ourselves like a bit of a staircase going down to the actual place. So, uh, something like this. Nice and simple. Nothing too difficult. But, of course, now, my friends, we need to go ahead and uh, work on the actual mechanism itself. And I think the way to do this is going to be by using some... I'm thinking like stone brick blocks or something like that. Something nice and simple. We really don't need to go too overboard with it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's honestly the simplest design you guys will probably ever see. I mean... To be honest, it's probably easier designs, but, uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. So, what we need to do is we need to place down a block, and then we need to go ahead and place all of our pistons down. They absolutely do not need to be sticky pistons. Don't don't get confused. Don't go thinking, oh, darn it, man, I need to go get myself some slime balls. Nope. You don't need that at all, buddies. You don't need that at all. All you need is 10 regular pistons, an observer, which if I place it like that, yep, that's right. Okay, cool. So basically what's going to happen is uh, the, wait, hang on a minute. No, I just realized the, these pistons actually need to be brought forward a block, don't they? So, yeah. Yeah, come on, Python. You, you know how to do this, man, you, you, you big noob. You, you know how to do this. You've made these things many, many times before, so don't be such a noob, you noob. <laughs> Oh dear. But basically, the, the factor of the matter is, basically what's going to happen is the sugar canes are going to grow, and then upon the point of which this particular sugar cane area hits the observer, the observer is going to send out a redstone pulse, which is going to go ahead and push out all of the sugar canes, and therefore they'll just get all picked up by the by the mechanism we've got going on, you know, the, the mine carts and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be very, very simple. It really, really is. Like I say, it's the simplest design you could ever think of, and I'm looking forward to it. I, I am actually looking forward to it. So let's get you placed in there. I want to make this place uh, look, you know, at least semi-decent. And then also, I don't want any of the items to fall in the water or anything like that. So again, something to consider. But all I'm going to do now is place that in there and then place all of these bits of redstone down here. And now what should happen is I should be able to place these things in. Way And it worked! Alright, fantastic. So all we need to do now is go ahead, place down the minecart, set it going, and then we're pretty much good. Can I like... Oh, no, I can't do this. And then if I break that, then... Oh, jeez, man. Alright, well, uh, we'll have to do that a slightly different way then. Huh. We're gonna have to place it, like, directly on the redstone block or something like that. Uh, that's not too difficult, though. There you go. Off it goes. Off it goes. And yep, that thing is going to be constantly, you know, bouncing back and forth. And yeah, it, it will make a noise. But you know what? For the sake of having an automatic farm, I'm not too fussed about that. I, in fact, no, really, I'm really not that fussed about it. So yeah. So, there we go. In a nutshell, that is the fully automatic sugarcane farm done. And in all honesty, even just that amount there is probably going to produce more sugarcane than we're actually ever going to need. I mean, we could potentially industrialize it, maybe make it modular, or maybe remake a different design somewhere. Uh, if we really want, like, a proper ridiculous amount of paper to, I don't know, trade with or something like that. I don't know, we could potentially do something. But for now, I feel like we're looking pretty good, and by the sounds of it... Oh, jeez, there's a lot of guys here. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is really satisfying. Just, you know, periodically coming over here and absolutely poning the bejesus out of these guys. <laughs> Oh, it's so satisfying. It really is. But anyways, guys, what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to go ahead, grab myself some resources, and then we're going to go and build this up together. All right, guys. So I think I've just about got everything that I need. Got some stone bricks, got some stone slabs, quartz slabs, of course, for the floor, and a bunch of glass and glass panes. So why don't we go ahead and make a bit of a start on this place? I mean, why not, right? So let's go ahead and begin with the floor here. Very, very simple. What we're going to do is place down a bunch of quartz slabs. Of course, using slabs because uh, they require less resources, technically speaking, than regular blocks. So that's all good. Uh, I'd also like to go ahead and replace this particular section with, I'm thinking, stone bricks. I think that might look cool as a little bit of a separator type dealio. So if I was to head up here, grab all of these, place these down. And then the idea is we're going to have to use glass blocks here. 
as opposed to just, you know, just uh, panes, because obviously panes, the things will be able to get stuck on them, right? The, the items will get stuck on there, which, to be honest, I don't really want. I want all of them to be picked up, especially considering it's a smaller farm. You know, it makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of that. So we've got, you know, the actual wall itself going, and we could potentially do a little thing here, right? I mean... What I'm doing basically is trying to reduce the amount of glass blocks I use because glass blocks, I mean, you know, eh, we haven't really industrialized glass blocks yet, have we? Not really. So, yeah, anyways, let's get you placed in there, you placed in there, and the final little bunch placed in there. And believe it or not, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm still going to have to go ahead and place some blocks in here because they'll still get, you know, stuck on the little ledge there. All right, looking cool though, looking cool. Let's go ahead and get you placed in. Let's get a little bit down here, right? And then here, I think we can get away with using glass panes because, you know, nothing's going to come back here, are they? Not really. Uh, okay, cool. All right, so do -do -do. let's get all of these placed in. All right, and then we could probably, again, do a little bit of a decoration type thing, like maybe get you in there. Or better still, I mean, I'm trying to space these out as well as I can, right? So, maybe something like that instead. And then we can paint it up. Paint it up, my friends. Paint it up. Yeah. No pain, no gain. Huh? You get that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was absolutely, like, unbelievably terrible. And I'm ashamed of myself. Anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. All right, so, yeah, let's just carry on. All we're going to do is just place all of these panes in. We're going to get the doorway in, going to get the floor in, and get some, like, overflow storage chests in as well, because I feel like that would be a good idea. Uh, and then, of course, we'll get ourselves some iron doors as well, because that's just how we roll. We're using iron doors because we have an iron farm, and also because we don't want to disrupt the door system way up there in the freaking iron farm. So, yeah. I gotta tell you, man, it's always unnerving hearing creepers fall down, but since they're never gonna kill us, uh, you know, it's kind of like, oh, okay, these guys are actually a major pushover. LOL, what a bunch of suckers, they ain't gonna get me. No, 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 no. Alright, so, yeah. I mean, it's not often I actually do sort of, you know, building entire builds on camera with you guys. I mean, the, the only reason I'm able to actually do this is because I've actually already got the design pretty much well imprinted into my brain, right? So, as a result, I don't feel like it's that difficult to remember what's going on. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, maybe we can go ahead and do a little thing. Uh, maybe we grab ourselves some of those. And then we could go ahead and put a bunch of chests in as well. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe we just have... Something like this. Nice and basic. Nothing nothing too, you know, out there. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, something like that. And then we'll need a little bit more wood so we can get another chest in there. Maybe we can have ourselves like a work surface here or something like that. Uh, in fact, I tell you what. I think, I think stone bricks will work a little bit better in there. And also we need ourselves a bunch of stairs anyway, right? So let's get you placed in there. You placed in there. We could probably go ahead and put some in there as well. And then let's get a bunch of stuff placed in like that. All right. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, let's go ahead... And replace all of the rubbish looking blocks with decent looking blocks. And there we go. Okay, okay. And maybe as a bit of a finishing touch, we can maybe try to put ourselves in some stairs up here like that. There we go. And now it's just like a little slither, right? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Although I'm kind of tempted to see what this would look like. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay, nice one. Alright guys, so we've pretty much got the design uh, done at this point. We just need ourselves a couple iron doors, and then away we go. Some buttons as well, of course, would be pretty useful. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's get four of those, and let's grab ourselves some iron real quick. Uh, six of them is all we need. So there we go, nice and simple. And yeah, we'll get back to it. We'll go ahead and, uh, you know, finish up the build here. Uh, I'm... Hmm. I don't think a second story is strictly necessary, so I think we may have this be like a slightly, you know, a not so tall building. I mean, you know, maybe it's pretty cool for the sake of, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe some variation in height every now and again. Uh, I've just come to the realization I can't actually get in, which is silly. Uh, but what I will do is a little sort of entrance area like we've done with all of our other builds here. There we go. And the cool thing about doing that is I can actually go ahead and put down the buttons right there. And then all is well, right? We can actually get in. And then if we wanted to get out, then away we go. 
Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the roof on this thing. And then after that's done, I guess we're pretty much there. Whoa. Hey, we've actually got some witches in here for once. Well, I knew they were rare spawning, but I didn't realize just how rare. This is only the first ever time I've seen these. Insanity. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Go on, get out of here, little witchy witch. There we go, and everybody's dead. Hey, we've got some... Wait, did we get redstone dust? Nah, I don't think we did, did we? Not really. Uh... Huh? Okay. Oh, we did get some redstone dust. They went inside the hoppers. Cool. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. Let's get this build finished then, shall we? I've got myself some cobblestone from uh, from uh, Flora Valley, and everything's looking pretty good. We've got the little entrance area done here. Got myself some more glowstone from the nether as well. Just a little bit. That's all we really need, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, quickly pull up and then we can get this thing rolling We're going with the same design as before in that we have ourselves Well, we're going to have ourselves like a, a rim of stone brick slabs and then on the inside We're gonna have some cobble and glowstone and uh, whatnot. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty nice looking area I hope uh, so let's just go ahead and do a little bit of this Maybe get a bit of glowstone in there just a little bit and uh, let me just check on the light levels around here uh, no, they're looking pretty good. Alright, so let's have something like this. We can get another little bit in there. Huh, we might only need four bits of glowstone in this one. I've got a little bit more than I think I actually needed. Huh, alright, cool. Hey man, it's always better to be over-prepared than under-prepared, right? So I'm never going to complain about that. Alright, boom, 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 boom. All right, and again, checking light levels. Yeah, looks fine to me. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get the rim on real quick. And then, yeah, we're pretty much done here. And there we go. All right. So believe it or not, that is this build pretty much done. I think it could do with some exterior decorations, though. Uh, in fact, yeah, definitely it could do with some exterior decorations. Maybe like an item frame or something like that to put up here to say, oh, hey, this is where paper is made or this is where uh, various other things are made. Uh, in addition to that, I think it'd be a nice idea. I mean, we do have ourselves a 2x2 two two spruce tree over here. We could probably get ourselves the rest of the chests from here, right? And then I've got some interior bits to do as well, uh, such as the uh, such as the flower pots, should I say. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly carry on real quick. I'm going to grab myself the flower pots and some various other stuffs, and we're going to see about decorating this board to finish it off. All right, folks, so I had an alternative idea for an exterior decoration. Now, you know how this is a sugarcane hut? Hot, right? Well, maybe we could plant down some sugarcane around the surroundings and have it be like a decoration. So, yeah, not only is it a decoration, but it's also a visual representation of what exactly this build is, right? So upon the point where all of these wind up growing up, I mean, maybe we could just like force grow some of these right now. Like we could just like chuck some here and there, like maybe one there. Oh, geez. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get out of here, please. I don't like being trapped in holes, man. It doesn't feel good, dude. All right, boom, and then boom. And, yep, yeah, there we go. All right, so... Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's added a little bit of greenery at the very, very least, right? I've also gone ahead and chopped down that uh, big spruce tree that we are going on. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, put down these flower pots. We've got some saplings here we can place in them. Uh, just to, you know, add a little bit of greenery to the build again. Uh, we can add you in there. And all of those look like that. Uh, I moved the crafting tables down here because I figured, you know, maybe we'd have some nice decorations going on, right? Why not? Okay, so, uh, I believe this is going to be three chests, so we need, what, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight chests? So, actually, we need, like, a bunch more. One, two, three, four, yeah, there we go. All right, uh, if my calculations are correct, this should be the perfect amount of chests. Boom, boom. Oh, no, it's more than we needed. I didn't think you were there, buddy, but you are. Okay, cool stuff. Right, well, uh, I've also got some paintings here. Maybe we can go ahead and, uh, you know, add, oh, that's a bit big. Jeez, man. We can add that in there like that, and then maybe we can have another one behind there. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And then could we potentially fit another one somewhere? I mean, we could put some here. Oh my, what? The buttons? Did the buttons show through? I didn't know they did that. That's madness. Madness, I tell you guys. Madness. All right, uh, what if I put it up there instead? Oh, man. I'm going to have to get rid of these buttons. To oh, jeez. Well, I'm now destroying my entire build. Uh, good job, Python. Anyways, my intention is to go ahead and put down some little one-by-one -one paintings. So something like that, and then something like that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And then we can place the buttons back in 
And then I think we're just about good to go. What's the light levels looking like in here? Uh, yep, yeah, all looking good. All right, nice one. Guys, we have a fully fledged automatic sugarcane farm. Yet another automatic farm added to our automatic farm library of awesomeness. Like, this is fully automatic. This is fully automatic. This is fully automatic. Like, all three of these farms are automatic to the point where I literally have to do nothing. They're just going to garner us a bunch of resources over time. I'm super, super happy with that, guys. I am really, really am. Um, yeah. It's looking good, isn't it? Well, guys, there we go. I think that's going to be our build for today's episode. I think we're going to leave it there for today as well. So before heading off, of course, let's head into the comment question of the video. Coming from It's Your Boy, Lucas2, or It's Your Boy. I think it's it's your boy. But uh, yeah, he says this. Do the wither in the 50th episode. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to do that is because world tours are every 25 episodes. So yeah, the 50th episode is already reserved for a world tour. But I will hopefully be taking down the wither before then. I would very much like to go ahead and get myself a beacon going, you know, sooner rather than later, ideally. So yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I really, really am. Obviously, I still need to go ahead and uh, farm out the other couple with the skeleton skulls from the nether. But uh, hopefully, that won't be too difficult, nor will it hopefully take too long. So, yeah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, we are indeed going to be going ahead and ending this episode here. I know we've only done, like, one build. We focused on one thing for today's episode. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments area below. In fact, I'll tell you what, poll on screen. Do you guys prefer it when we have episodes where we just focus on one thing entirely? Or do you guys like it when I try to do, like, multiple things per episode? Let me know in the comments area below. I'll be, I'll be legitimately interested in uh, knowing your guys' thoughts, because who knows? Your thoughts might just shape the future of the series. But guys, talking of this series, I just want to just take this opportunity at the end of the episode here just to say uh, a massive thank you. A massive thank you. We're 44 episodes into the series. When we started this series, this channel was at 17,000 subscribers. We've literally just hit 44,000 subscribers, and that is within the space of a couple of months, uh, you know, it's, it's absolutely amazing. The amount of support you guys have been showing for the series is, like, absolutely unheard of. It's the most amount of support I've ever had for any single Minecraft series. And it's, it's you guys that I've got to thank for it. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Like, honestly, my motivation for Minecraft is at an all-time high because of it. Like... I don't know, man. I don't know what else to say aside from thank you. I really appreciate it. So, guys, talking of uh, thanking you guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Python's World. If you enjoyed it, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it will really mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, let me know what you think of the build in the comments area below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.